Cesar here with more Dragon Quest 7. As you can see, we are here. We are in All Trades Abbey. We've been moving on it steadily. Um, the world is still engulfed in darkness, but that's okay. We got Sasserai, Ruff, Aish. We're a pretty decent party here. Maribel's still fairly unleveled, but compared to the rest of the group, steady sticks, not horrible, I guess, considering she left the party at 31. As you can see, Sasserai is currently a golem. Maribel is a Chimera. Ruff is a hero. And Aish is a gladiator. I didn't know gladiators wore hot pants, but whatever. We're gonna take a walk over here to Pilgrim's Rest and see what's going on in Pilgrim's Rest. If anything. Hello, Silky Kittens! How's it going? What about Silky? Ah, Casino. Ah, 87,000 tokens. Upgraded your items yet. Okay. Dragon, how's it going? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I haven't fixed Nightbot yet. I haven't figured out exactly where the uh, caps thing is in there. I'm still getting the lay of the land, so to speak. So, just careful. I don't want you to, it, it, it to get angry at you again. That was terrifying. I just came to face to face with a savage monster. That's it. I'm not going outdoors anymore. Not even to draw water from the well. Making money is important, but not as important as staying alive. I just pray none of those monsters get in here. I introduced everyone in my party but you. <laughs> but eventually, I will name someone after you, Silky. Don't worry. Oh, good. Okay. Hey, silly. I'm not sure what to do, homie. <laughs> but all oh, your bio exam, did you, uh... Did you finish it, or...? Is that today? Black Drive, thank you for the host. We got Cesar as a golem right now. It is fantastic. Look at him just trudge along. Oh shit. That. And that. And you're dead. Fuck your face, face uh, you're fire. It is a tiny golem, isn't it? Thank you for the auto host intrigue. I have finished it. What do you think? Or did did you pass? Hello, Windcheek. Oi oh, there, Cesare. Welcome back aboard. Navigator dude up here. 
No need to fear for the ship's wheel, matey. I won't be allowing no monsters near it. Come hell, no high water. Now you ready to weigh anchor and set sail for Pilchard Bay? Aye, aye, hoist the mainsail. All hands on deck, we sail for Estad Isle. How long till the host collects the right one deck? It's a good question. Well, Silky, I'm, I hope you do pass. Maybe then, shipmates, just give me a word when you're ready to set sail once more. Alright, so... They locked off all trades of Abbey, but the uh, fire spirit kind of opens up the way for you. He pierces a hole in the veil, so to speak. You just remember that lady who hates slimes from that one video we watched and you got angry as usual? Well, I can understand that, but... There's no need to get angry again, I guess. I got a Brickman, as you can see. Run away. Well, I'm sitting here hunched over in my chair, and I don't even know why. Alright, hang on. Let me readjust. Ah, much more comfortable. Brickman! Hey, silly, thank you for the host. It looks like uh, Mirogo doesn't hop up for uh, auto hosts. Oh, Dragon, heal slimes are fantastic. I really do recommend heal slimes. Yeah, Mirago. Alright. Ah, Maribel achieves the rank of Chirpy. <laughs> you want Aisha's sword? Aisha's using... Uh... The Metal King sword. He's using the Cobra Claws. She's also using a Metal King sword. If you look closely though, the Metal King sword has like a Metal King Metal Slime on it. It's like he's using the Sea Serpent Blade. Yeah, but if you swap out a, ma a Paladin, you're gonna lose multi-heal, whereas if you master it with, uh, the Heal Slime, uh, it's, uh, you're, you, you keep it regardless of whether you swap out or not. Alright, let's see. Good choice here. We can go to yellow or green. What do you think? Let's roll a dice for it. Even says yellow, odd says green. Alright. Oh, PMS says green. Okay. Alright. Oh, I'll have to check out that anime. Hey, thanks for activating today, Nightbot. I appreciate it. What the fuck is this? Oh, I don't know what this is.
This would be the wind spirit, wouldn't it? What's happening? It can't be evening yet, so why is it... You there, I have a question. I heard that a rumor that the Almighty has been restored. Is it true? It is? Why the heck has this all gone and happened? Where did you come from, and what are you doing here at a time like this? More importantly, what in blazes is going on with the sky? One minute it was a brilliant blue, and the next it's anything but! Uh, wh what is that thing? That thing is an asshole, that's what that thing is. Let's have some spells on him. Alright, hang on. No, it said Nightbot was in the chat, so. Hey, hey, are you alright? Yes, I... I think so. Thank you, strangers. I think it's safe to say you saved my life. What a shock that was. You never had monsters here before, you know? Not once. I suppose it's the darkness that attracts the awful creatures. This doesn't bode well for the future of the world. It really doesn't. True. Problem solved. You queued for World of Darkness and Lord, uh, like... Well, Winchy, you gotta look at the time. It's noon now where people are online, and last night it was not noon. Groves grow till at death of wind. Black clouds fill fair skies with sin. That part of the Cirrus poem, written in ancient times, is called the Nightmare Verse. I can't help but think it might have some kind of prophecy about what's happening to us at the moment. Uh, I don't think it actually was a prophecy. I think it quite literally was talking about what was happening to them at that moment. Delia's form, when made complete, will raise the spirit from its sleep. This is one of our most ancient sayings. Alas, none of us quite understand what it means by complete. After all, nothing appears to be missing. Interesting. Dear Fidelia, please send us your blessings. We need them now more than ever. I met Fidelia. She's nice. What? Back up there. Hate when it does that. Alright. Anyway, what's everyone's plans for today? I know Silky completed her, uh, or their, um, biology exam. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. 
Her wings are definitely missing. Let's go see the people at uh, uh, ALS Vale and see what they have to say. I love the scholars are deep in conversation about something. They really do look very serious. I hope they manage to find out a way to get us out of this mess. So what you're saying is this. Danelia left a message behind that might be a clue as to how to get out of the sticky situation we find ourselves in. Exactly! Listen, heed my voice and follow my words faithfully. Climb the stones of the edifice to the south. The altar awaiteth at the at its peak. Hmm, the stone edifice to the south. I imagine she must mean Ventus Tower. Yes, it seems she's saying that the Ventus Altar is located at the top of it. Well, that would certainly make sense. We're no proof of any of this is true, of course. Never mind that now. We have no time for proof. This is an emergency, a time for action. If there's even the slightest possibility that Fidelia's message is true, we have to act on it. You're right, of course, but what about the monsters? Who can we send down there? Who isn't going to get eaten alive? Now that is a question. Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Before we do anything, we need to inform the mayor of our findings. Well, I've to prove it, but it's my belief that Ventus Altar is located at the top of Ventus Tower. But until someone brave enough to venture up there, there's no way of knowing for sure. Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Should this veil, this the veil at home, fall prey to darkness and despair, go thee and offer prayers before the Ventus Altar. We've been puzzled by this Ventus Altar for years now. It's been quite the topic of conversation. Plus, we've no idea where it is, or who to pray to should we find it. The mayor of Aeolus Vale has been unwell. It hasn't been seen in public for some time. I think it's time for her to come out of hiding. People need her. Alright, so... You're debating which DQ to play on your, uh, on your, uh, on your 3DS? Um, well, Wintrix says Rocket Slime. Which... Admittedly, is a fantastic choice. There was a commotion outside, so none of the uh, one of the men went to have a look. Next thing we knew, there was the screaming. I hope he's all right. Crikey, my monsters! We're surrounded by bleeding monsters. We better make sure no one get, uh, no one goes outside until they have. It's ain't safe. Was that? You won't leave. What really? Even with all the monsters there? Well, I ain't gonna stop you. If you reckon you can handle it, but be my guest. I do reckon I can handle it. See? I'm an imposing golem. Oh, look at this. New monsters. Alright, let's fight. Rashavrik. Hello. Oh, you're new too. Uh, nine is great. Eight is uh, just released, uh, so I recommend picking that up. There we go. Looks like a fucking Saiyan dog. That I know. Ooh. What's this? Oh, it didn't work on those two? Oh, that's weird. Corpse Corporal! You got 789? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. The more love we get for Dragon Quest in the area. That's 
very weird, Sully. This one is a Emperor Slime and a Swinger. I'm not sure which one to kill first, so we'll s split our damage for now, I guess. Desperate attack. You're on seven now, and you get a job level spam for a bit. Yeah, hell hogs. I like all the new monsters I'm finding, though. Yeah, you save your strength. That's gonna be the death of you, I'm afraid. See you later. Oh, what's this? The hellhog gets up and looks over expectantly. The poor thing just must be looked after. Alright. First time fighting that, and it joins my, uh, monster meadows. I love how everything still just runs away. What is this? Sting slimes? Oh, come on. Why'd you change these? These are Man of Wars. I like how the golem does, like, the Russian, uh... Um, kick dance there. Hey, Rufflin's Zap, Rufflin's Kamikaze, Rufflin's Snooze, Rufflin's Multi Heal, Rufflin's Kazing, Rufflin's Bazoom. Alright. Did you walk here? Oh, then you're lucky to be alive. It's crawling with monsters out there. Well, to be honest, we've got enough problems here in the Vale without worrying about what's going on outside. Ever since the skies felt dark, we've struggled to grow so much as a radish. I don't know what's going on. What's going to become of us at this rate? I can't say it's been that dark that long, guys. A few days at most. Uh, I guess that would be enough to start affecting the crops. I heard that the Almighty told people to stop carrying weapons and whatnot. It's all very well, I'm saying, but, but I ain't gonna stop selling weapons while there's still monsters about. in this part of the town, so I'll be all gathered at the mayor's place. Mayor's speech is set to start any minute now. Everyone's waiting in front of her house. You should go set, hurry up if you want to hear what she's going to say. <laughs> ah, I called that. I bet the Mayas thought of a way to get to set of this mess. Good old Mayor. It's a bit of a shame, though. Sales of our mower have never been bad here. The veil has long been shrouded in darkness before, you know. Long, long ago. Apparently it was caused by some big black cloud back then. I haven't seen anything like that this time around. The mayor's not shown her safe for months, and now she says she's got something important to tell us. It must be important. I probably won't be able to hear anything from back here, though. Hello, Toon Monk! 
get a new icon near it next to your name. Right, all here are you? Good, then I'll get the mayor. Won't be two ticks. Oh, wow, she has wings. That's cool. My dear citizens, it is good to see you all. I must apologize for remaining cloistered away for so long. No doubt you are somewhat shocked at my appearance. Fear not, all will be explained in time. But I see new faces among those gathered here. In which case, first I must introduce myself. I am Serafina. In my role as mayor, I have honor the honor of presiding over the people of Aeolus Vale. Now, I suspect the most of you have already guessed why I have convened this meeting. As you all know, our once peaceful land has been beset by marauding monsters. The skies above have turned a most inauspicious color. Believe me when I say that I both recognize and share your deep anxiety. I will be honest with you. I do not know the reason for these unfortunate developments. But there's one thing I do know. None of you will be allowed to suffer unduly as a result of them. As such, I hereby strictly forbid all citizens of Aeolusville from venturing outside the confines of the village unless absolutely necessary until the world has returned to normal. In the meantime, I will do my utmost to seek out the cause of our current predicament. Know that I will do whatever it takes, even though it may cost me my life. Now, I must explain my appearance to you. The simple truth is that, almost two months ago, these wings sprouted unbidden from my shoulder blades. I was unable to understand why and decided to sequester myself away until such time as I had learned more. Alas, given recent development, time is something we do not have. Besides, I have something of an inkling that these wings may hold the key to our salvation. I end this address with a request. A plea to all of you, be you residents of the Vale or otherwise, I ask that any competent warriors among you convene at my residence. That is all for now. May Fidelia's blessings be upon you all. Yeah, you can't get ad block on uh, mobile right now, as far as I know. Um. You are travelers, yes? I'm afraid that you have chosen a bad time to visit Aeolus Vale. I can only apologize for that. And yet, I cannot help but notice that you have come to see me. Can it be that you hear that you heard my announcement? Are you here to offer your assistance? That is happy news indeed. You have my thanks. Now allow me to explain the situation. I wish to travel to Ventus Tower, which stands to the southeast of the Vale. I do not know what I will find, but ever since I sprouted these wings, something, someone has been calling me there. You say that the scholars of the Sanctum believe that Ventus Tower is to be the home of a sacred structure known as the Ventus Altar? Intriguing. All the more reason to go there and investigate. Now the question I ask, wish to ask you is this. Would you be willing to escort me to the tower? Wonderful! We must leave as soon as possible. Leave from this side of the valley and head southeastward. We shall reach it soon enough. Thank you so much. Serafina joins the party. Yeah, Adblock hurt the internet in the terms of ad revenue, but you gotta realize too, invasive ads also hurt people's desire to use the internet. So it kinda is a catch-22. 
poor old man has been fretting away all by herself ever since that wing spread it on her back. What with that and all American monster turning up, I don't know what's a bit happening to the world. I think that's probably a line of thought. Mini metal, mini metal. I don't want seven gold coins. Your Grace, I appreciate you decided to help your people, but I don't really feel comfortable you leaving the veil at a time like this. Please come back quickly and be careful. Probably we broke does a lot. Right, let's save our game here. Talking to sexy Russians is sometimes nice. I don't know about that one, Drake. Alright, done to reset my recording.